Need to say I'm not just in. I hope you're all doing well because I've been doing great. I'm on summer break right now and I got a big announcement to make. Not long after my summer break started, Claudia Mistoni and I were blessed with the birth of our first child. Our son, Chief Golot, Turquoise Scorpion. Not gonna lie. It was the scariest day of my life. But it's been an amazing journey ever since. Which brings me to the topic of today's video. I've been getting a lot of requests to help with the pronunciation of Nahuatl names. So today I'll talk a little bit about Nahuatl names. I'll talk about the naming ceremony, and I'll give a few examples of how to pronounce some names that you've probably already heard of before. I also have some more book recommendations I'd like to share with you. So let's get started. All right, first of all, congratulations to Genesis and to the new addition of your family. A while back, you asked me to explain a little bit about the name Xochitl. Well, Xochitl is one of the 20 day signs on the Tonalpawali, or day count. I'll go over all the 20 day signs and how to pronounce them in another video. But just to go into a little detail about Xochitl, it means flower, and it carries a sense of something beautiful, precious, and delicate. And according to Se Akat in the book Intonalama Tokolzisiwan, El Calendario de Nuestros Abuelos, it represents art and creativity, beauty and happiness, knowledge, and the love of all of creation, represented by music, dance, and poetry. It also represents frivolity and the slippery slope to disdain and disrespect. Calendar names, or in other words, the names of the day signs, are pretty popular when it comes to Nahuatl names. In the naming ceremony, your calendar name is typically one of the names you receive in your Tonalama, which literally translates as the Book of Days. But in the book Aztec Thought and Culture by Miguel Leon Portilla, he calls it the Book of Days and Destinies. In my naming ceremony, I was given the name Coyolmi, which isn't exactly grammatically correct, but it's actually a combination of two Nahuatl words. Coyomit and Coyolomit. Let me break it down for you. Coyot means coyote, and omit means bone. So Coyomit means coyote bone. On the other hand, Coyol comes from the word Coyonia, which means to perforate something, which we're not really going to get into the specifics right now. We'll talk more about combining verbs and nouns in another episode. But omit means bone. So Coyolomit means a bone to perforate something, or in other words, an all. When my temachtiani o selo coat explained my tonalamat to me, he said that Coyolmit symbolizes teaching. And this was before I was even a teacher. He showed me a page out of the Codex Borgia, where Xochipili, flower prince, is using a Coyolomit to penetrate the mind. Coyotes are associated with Wewekoyo, old coyote, who is both old and wise, yet also a youthful trickster who loves music, dancing, and mischief. Luckily, when my son was born, my Temashiani just so happened to be in town for a naming ceremony, so we asked him to read his Tonalama. Using the date and exact time he was born, he read through the codices and researched the energies of the moment my son entered this world, presenting us with the list of names to choose from. The name we chose was Shiv Kolot, which comes from Shiwit and Kolot. Shiwit in this case means turquoise, but can also mean gear, grass, or comet, carrying the sense of intense heat. The hottest flames are blue in color. Kolot means scorpion, so Shiv Kolot means turquoise scorpion. Interestingly, scorpions glow a turquoise-like color under UV light. All right, next I'm gonna show you how to pronounce some names that you've probably heard before. I'm not really gonna go into detail about the meaning of each name. That would probably take a really long time. Since we're just focusing on pronunciation, I'm just gonna be showing you how to pronounce them. If you need a refresher on how to pronounce Nahuatl words, I recommend rewatching episode three, a Nahuatl pronunciation guide. Senteot, Senteot, Chalchivitlique, Chalchivitlique, Sitlalique, Sitlalique, Coatlique, Coatlique, Coyolxauqui, Coyolxauqui, Huitzilopochtli, Huitzilopochtli, Mictlancihuatl, Mictlancihuatl, Mictlantecli, Mictlantecli, Pilzintecli, Pilzintecli, Quetzalcoatl. Quetzalcoatl, Tuxistecatl, Tuxistecatl, Tepeyolotl, Tepeyolotl, Tezcatlipoca, Tezcatlipoca, Tlahuizcalpantecli, Tlahuizcalpantecli, Tlaloc, Tlaloc, Tlaltecli, Tlaltecli, Tlazolteotl, Tlazolteotl, Donati, Donati, Shipetotec, Shipetotec, Shiptecli, Shiptecli, 
Shochi Quetzal. Shochi Quetzal. I hope that helps. I know I went through those pretty quickly, so feel free to rewind the video if you need to hear those names again. But before we close up, I want to share a couple book recommendations with you. A few years ago, I came across this children's book at the Teotihuacan exhibit in San Francisco. It's called The Princess and the Warrior by Duncan Tonati, and it's the story of the lovers Popocatépetl and Iztaccíhuatl, Smoking Mountain and White Woman, who became the famous volcanoes that still overlook Mexico City today. I also recently came across this book by Duncan Tonati, Feathered Serpent and the Five Sons, a Mesoamerican creation myth. It's the Mexica creation story of how the world came to be. I bought both of these books for my son and they are amazing. They even come with glossaries in the back of each book to define the Nahuatl words used in each story. I'll post the links to these books in the description down below. No one's paying me to say this, I really do think these books are amazing. Especially if you have kids and you want them to know some of the ancient stories told by our ancestors. All right, everyone. Well, that just about wraps up today's episode. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate you all. And if there's anything that I miss, please leave a comment down below. I love constructive criticism. It helps me become a better teacher and a better learner. Or if you just want to show some love, you can do that too. And as always, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Once again, Tlaxo Kamati, and I'll see you next time.